Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Professor Diaz, and in today's video lesson, we will conclude our chapter on pointers. So this next lesson is going to relate pointers and passing by reference and passing by value. So I have my standard boilerplate set up already. We're going to create two function prototypes. Prototypes. We're going to create two void functions. One will be called my pass by value function. And it's going to take a string parameter. And we're going to take, it's going to take str par. For my pass by reference function, my pass by reference function, I want to pass in a pointer. So I'm going to indicate that with the asterisk, and I'm going to send it a pointer called strpdr part. All right, fair enough. Um, okay. This should be fine. Let's go ahead and copy these. And we'll flush them out down here in our function definition section. I almost put section. I almost wrote that after. <laughs> so unnecessary. Um, OK, so curly braces, one space. Get rid of that. Curly braces, one space. All right, so in our first function, the pass by value function, I want to put str par. So our string parameter is going to equal Jackson. And then in our next function, we're going to use the, the, amp, the not the ampersand, the asterisk, and we're going to change str ptr par to Pollock. All right, so if you recall, when you pass by value, you're passing a copy. And when you pass by reference, you're passing the actual version of it. So um, just keep that in mind when we're doing this. So we want to alter the original version here, and we want to alter a copy of it here. So now we're going to create some declarations. String name equals Janet. And we're going to call our functions. So my pass by reference, pass by value function first. And we're going to give it name. And we're going to my pass by reference function, and we're going to give it the address of name. Remember, we want this to be a pointer, so we need to pass in an address. OK, um, I'm going to go ahead and, well, not yet. I need to output something first. That's why these little notes are super helpful. So I need to output what is name. So name is. And I want you to try to work through what you think the answer is going to be. So both of these functions ran, and we want to know, well, what's going to be the value of name at the end? Is it going to be Janet? Is it going to be Jackson? Is it going to be Pollock? So I want you to go ahead and try to figure that out uh, right about now, and then come back to the video. And if you've already done that, then we'll go ahead and run this, and we'll see what the answer is. So there we go. Uh, the name is nothing. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And people watching this are laughing at me right now because I did not um, I did not put the name variable that I should have here. <laughs> Very funny. OK, <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, so the answer is Pollock. 
uh, which is interesting, right? It should be interesting to you. Um, so what happens is when we pass by value, we're passing in a copy. So we alter the copy, but we're not altering the original. So unless you're trying to return a value or do something like that, I don't see a way where you're going to be able to uh, alter the original value this way. But in our next function definition, in the pass by reference function, we want to affect the original copy. And the original copy is our string pointer parameter. So we're saying at, at the, the asterisk is saying, at this location, I want you to look inside the location and I want you to put this. This is the value we want to place here. And so that's why the answer is Pollock. It's not Jackson. It's not Janet. It's Pollock. All right. And this is going to become even more useful when we start doing things with arrays um, and passing in uh, addresses that way and altering arrays permanently. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, sorry that the lesson's so short, but um, that's all you need to know for now to do the quiz. I want you to practice these. And if you still have questions, please reach out. I'm always here for you guys. I'll always be here for you guys. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.